You tell me, man, how different is this offense actually going to look? Well, Shane Steichen's out, new head coach at Indianapolis. Brian Johnson in, who's quarterback coach last year. But I don't believe the offense is going to change very much. They're still going to have one of the best offensive lines in football. They've got a stable of running backs that are going to contribute in a variety of ways. But one thing that's going to stay the same, Jalen Hurts is going to attack like he did a year ago. And there's a lot of things they do when they attack down the field. This is pistol formation. A.J. Brown right there in the slot against Pittsburgh. Play action pass. They get the inside linebackers to step up just to clean it up a little bit right here. And then A.J. Brown's going to run this bang eight. And even though the free safety, Mickey Fitzpatrick, is there, Jalen Hurts just trusts his favorite receiver in A.J. Brown. There's a number of plays like this all year where Jalen just took it away. Now, against Green Bay right here, they're going to box the three receivers to the left. It's going to leave Quez Watkins one-on-one -on -one right here. Jalen Hurts reads it perfectly. This is the green zone before you get to the red zone. Attack. Get the ball in the air to Quez Watkins against Rasul Douglas and let Quez come down with it, which he does, right before the end of the half to take the lead. And then against the Giants, I just love this play. Jack Stoll's going to come in motion. The safety Julian Love's going to run with him. Good indicator to Jalen Hurts. We're going to see man coverage right here. This play, it's good against man, it's good against zone, but this play is exactly what they wanted right here. Again, a green zone play attack right here. Man coverage right here, A.J. Brown. Comes out of his breaks as well as any wide receiver in this league. Free safety on the other side of the field. You know what, Jalen? Go throw it to an open patch of grass and let A.J. Brown come down with it. I, I just don't see that part of this Eagles offense, guys, changing with the changing of offense coordinators to Brian Johnson. Yeah, I mean, look, Baldy, there's not going to be any radical shift here. Why, why, why would you make a radical shift? Just because you're changing coordinator with a guy who's been on the staff. He's going to take... Some of the principles that were there with Shane Steichen and Nick Sirianni and build on it because now defense is going to give them certain looks. But the one thing the Eagles do better than anybody is run the football. This is still going to be a predominantly run-based offense. And you mentioned it, Baldy. They've got a stable of running backs now with DeAndre Swift where they're going to be able to possibly do some things off the run game with the mobility of Jalen Hurts and that fantastic offensive line. Just keep on building off of the tree that was rooted last year and, and the way that Jalen Hurts has played. And, 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 you know, that's just where this offense is going. Nothing really significant changing here. Yeah, I mean, Steve, you've been with TS even last year. And, Baldy, I know how many times we did these breakdowns talking about RPO and, and yeah. what Jalen Hurts is capable of doing. If it ain't broke, you don't need to fix it. And this Eagles offense is certainly rocked. They're hoping to get back to a Super Bowl, maybe even get over the